Hi, in this video I'll teach you another technique to create simple infographics in PowerPoint presentations. I am Ram Gopal from PrezoTraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. The infographic you will learn to create today looks like this. To create these kind of infographics, you require one of the two types of images. One type of image is called as WMF image or Windows Meta File image. The other type of image is called as PNG image. The difference between these two types of images is a WMF image is fillable. For example, as you can see here, I have a silhouette here. When I go to shape fill and change the shape fill, you can see that the silhouette is getting filled with the fill color that I've chosen here. Whereas if I take the case of a PNG image, if I go to shape fill and use the same fill color option, you can see that the core image is not really getting altered. So that is the difference. Now let me show you how to create the infographic that I showed you here using a WMF image. First, I'm going to create a duplicate of this image. So I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D. Ctrl D is the shortcut for duplicate. Now I have a copy of this image available. Now I'm going to go to shape fill and say the shape fill is white color. And I'm going to go to shape outline and choose um, black colored outline. And I can always adjust the weight of the outline. And in this case, I have got two one by four points. So I have got one part of the puzzle solved. Then I'm going to select this picture once again. I'm going to right click and say copy. And I'm going to now paste it, but as a picture. So I'm going to right click here and I'm going to choose the second option. As you can see here, it says picture. So I'm going to click on the second option called picture U. So you can see that I have got a picture here. Now the beauty of the picture is it is totally croppable. So I can select this picture, go to format, go to the crop tool and I can crop it to the percentage that I want. So I have cropped it to this extent. Now I can place this right on top of the earlier one and now I can show percentage responses, percentage completion, etc. It's a cool infographic to create in a matter of seconds. Now if you want to apply some effects, you can always do that. You can always select both of them together and you can go to picture effects, go to reflection and go to this option called as tight reflection and you can see that we have got a very beautiful uh, 3D kind of an effect created to this infographic. Now that this is done, let us select both of them. I'm going to delete that. Now I'm going to show you how to create the same using this PNG image. First, I'm going to make a copy of this. I'm going to press Ctrl D and here I have a copy. Then let me change the fill color. To change the color of this, you need to go to Format tab in PowerPoint Ribbon. Go to the Color option here and then choose a different color. Maybe in this case, if I want to choose an orange color, I can choose that. Now I can always select this, go to Crop Tool and then crop it to the extent I want and place this right on top of the previous one and I have got the infographic that I talked about. Now if you want this to be a slight gray version, so that it doesn't really take too much attention away, then I can select this, go to the same format tab, color, and then maybe I can choose a grayer version like this or a grayer version like this. And now you can see that the infographic is even more attractive. So you can choose either a fillable picture or a non-fillable picture. And you can choose one of the two techniques that I showed you to create simple infographics to represent percentage completion or percentage responses in a poll survey, etc. Now let me show you some examples taken from our complete trainers bundle where we have used a very similar technique to create some interesting data driven infographics. As you can see here, these are representing poll results for men and women on a scale of one to 10. Now you have five questions here and here it shows the number of people who have answered in a particular way to the question. Now the beauty of this is you can see that there are gray scales here up to 10 and then the ones uh, that have responded favorably are shown in darker color. And the idea is very similar to what I have discussed in this video. The only difference is that these are data driven infographics and the way they work is let us say for question two we have 
eight responses. And if I want to show that there are only four responses, all I need to do is to select the chart, go to edit data, and I can choose a different number. For example, for question two, instead of eight, if I want to say four, I can change four and press enter and instantly you can see that only four are responding. The same works in the case of the female responses as well. For question three, instead of six, if I want to say eight, I just right click edit data and here instead of six, if I want to say eight and press enter, you can see that eight responses are there. Now another example here, we can see that there are quite a few percentages shown here which say expected versus actuals in women and the way that you do this is right click edit data and you can change any of these percentages individually for example this 86 percent can be changed into say 14 percent and instantly you, need, you see that uh, there is a change reflected here and as you can see all these are very simple and yet very interesting infographics that make your training presentations come to life so you no longer need to learn how to work with advanced chart functions in PowerPoint or Excel to create infographics that match the best financial magazines that you've come across. Your training presentations can sizzle with charts with Complete Trainers Bundle templates. By the way, Complete Trainers Bundle is a collection of 4022 premium PowerPoint templates that are designed to help trainers and course creators to create beautiful and memorable presentations in a matter of minutes. I hope you really liked the simple technique I taught you in this video. If you want to learn more such interesting and creative PowerPoint techniques, then I highly recommend you take a look at our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program is arguably the most comprehensive PowerPoint training online. No other book or course online or offline teaches you the kind of advanced techniques tips and tricks that I teach you in Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. If you want to learn more about the program, you can click on the No More button here. I'll also leave a link to the program in the description area below this video. Before we close the video, just one more thing. Do you want to know how to make your training slides creative and interesting even if your topic is dry and boring? Then please click here to sign up for a fun 7-day email course. It's a totally free course. And if you're a trainer or a course creator, it's a course you can't afford to miss. I'll see you inside the course.